Imagine strolling down the street and spotting Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, or Mark Zuckerberg. Those guys are hard to miss, right? But what if I told you that Tencent, a colossal force in the business world, is run by someone who's like a phantom, rarely in the spotlight? In this video, we're embarking on a thrilling journey through Tencent's mind-blowing history to uncover the mysteries of this colossal business empire. It's a company that wields immense influence, yet somehow manages to stay in the shadows. How did they even get here? And what does it mean for all of us? So, fasten your seatbelts because I guarantee you the story of Tencent is going to be one heck of a roller coaster ride. But before we dive headfirst into the Tencent saga, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you won't miss a second of this thrilling adventure. Tencent is an absolute beast in the business world. We're talking about a company that's worth more than the likes of Facebook, MasterCard, and Samsung. Yet, if you were to ask your average Joe or Jane on the street what Tencent actually does, you'd probably get a lot of puzzled looks. You see, Tencent isn't just a company, it's more like a colossal octopus, with tentacles that stretch into almost every industry you can think of, not just in one country, but all over the world. And guess what their mascot is? A friendly looking penguin. But don't let that fool you, an octopus is far more fitting symbol for this business giant. Tencent operates from the shadows, which is why it's not a household name in many parts of the world. But the scary part is whether you're aware of it or not, you're almost certainly using products or services that Tencent has a hand in. However, let's switch gears and take a look at Tencent's home turf, China. Over there, it's a whole different ballgame. Tencent rules the roost and they've done something that seemed impossible. They've created a super app, one app to rule them all. Tencent unleashed a game changer called WeChat, and it's been rightly dubbed the Everything App or the Operating System of China. Why, you ask? Because practically every one of China's massive 1.4 billion people spends an average of 4 hours a day on this app. That's more time than the average American spends on all their social media apps combined. Why is WeChat such a big deal in China? Well, it's like having Facebook, PayPal, WhatsApp, Netflix, Google, Spotify, Uber, Yelp, Tinder, Zoom, YouTube, Deliveroo, Amazon, and countless other apps all rolled into one. Can you imagine the convenience of having all that in a single app? It's mind-blowing. But this convenience comes at a cost, when you have access to literally everything about your life, from your exact location, to your entire search and chat history, things start to get a little spooky. And it gets even worse when you realize that the line between Tencent and the Chinese government is so blurred that it's practically invisible. You've got the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, having access to all that juicy information as well, turning WeChat into one of the most powerful surveillance tools ever conceived. Imagine every message, call, and search you've ever made, all in the hands of Big Brother. Even the private messages and images sent through Tencent's apps like WeChat are scanned to see if they need to be censored. If you say something that the Chinese government disapproves of, the best case scenario is that your message just vanishes into thin air. The worst case scenario? Well, let's just say you might end up in a tight spot or simply vanish without a trace. The dark side of this tale only gets darker. A citizen in China cracking a lighthearted joke about a government official to some friends. It seems harmless, right? Well. This individual found themselves behind bars for that text. Yeah, you heard me right, jailed for a text message. It's like the CCP wants to make sure people are aware of the consequences so they won't even think about saying anything they don't like in the first place. To make matters worse, the Chinese government openly admits that they can access deleted WeChat conversations without your permission or any court orders. This isn't something unique to China. We've seen countries all over the world engage in surveillance of their citizens using technology. But China, my friends, has taken it to a whole new level. Believe it or not, the CCP has its tentacles deep within Tencent. Thousands of party members are lurking inside Tencent, including party officials on the company's executive board who can pull strings and influence major decisions. For instance, during the early days of the COVID outbreak, the Chinese government used WeChat for population control. They assigned color codes to determine people's health status, dictating whether they could leave their homes or not. It's like a real-life Black Mirror episode. And it doesn't just stop there. The CCP orders Tencent to bend its games to conform to Communist Party values. They even made Tencent add facial recognition to their games, restricting kids to just 90 minutes of playtime per day. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's happening in China, it doesn't affect me, but hold on. Because Tencent didn't stop at China's borders, they decided to expand abroad and embark on one of the most epic shopping sprees in history. 
What do they buy and how does it affect the rest of the world? They've invested heavily in companies that we all know and love, like Reddit, Tesla, Discord, Spotify, Snapchat, and Universal Music. But guess what? Those are just a handful of the many hundreds of companies outside of China that Tencent now has its fingers in. They've left their mark on nearly every corner of the globe. Now, here's where it gets really wild. Tencent is the biggest gaming company on the planet. Their gaming division alone is bigger than the entire companies of Nintendo or EA. And how do they pull off this gaming coup? Well, they own 100% of Riot Games, the creators of League of Legends. They've got a 40% stake in Epic Games, the folks behind Fortnite. And that's not all. They've got a piece of the action in Ubisoft, Activision Blizzard, and more of the world's most popular games. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Tencent's payment division is almost as big as PayPal's entire business. WeChat Pay alone handles over a billion payment transactions per day, more than Visa and MasterCard combined. They've got Tencent Music, they're giant in esports, and they're even making Hollywood movies like Men in Black. They're everywhere. Their grasp is so strong that once Blizzard, the creators of World of Warcraft, which is also partially owned by Tencent, banned a gamer who supported the pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong. It caused quite a stir. It's as if China is wielding Tencent as a weapon to shape decisions far beyond its own borders. This has left many people scratching their heads, asking how on earth is one Chinese company now seemingly dictating what people in the US can and cannot say? The same story played out with the NBA. Tencent Video has a deal to stream their matches, but when Daryl Morey, the manager of the Houston Rockets, tweeted, fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong, Tencent threatened not to stream any Rockets matches in the future. What happened next is even more eyebrow raising. The manager was practically forced to delete his support for Hong Kong, backtrack on his stance, and apologize for his tweets. Others also started declaring their love for China. It's like China was pulling the strings from behind the scenes. Multiple governments from US to India have labeled WeChat as a security threat, and some suggest it's like having a monitoring weapon right in your pocket. But here's what's really intriguing about Tencent's story. You can look at it from two angles. It's like a double-edged sword with one side showcasing their astounding global reach and influence, and the other side revealing the potential for foreign governments to use Tencent as a tool for their own agendas. It's mind-boggling to think that Tencent, this global titan, had such humble beginnings. With only $1,000 in their bank account, a group of friends embarked on a journey that would transform their struggling startup into one of the world's largest companies.